Yaimiko is returning very soon, and with her rerun, she has new amazing teams she can be played in. So today, I want to showcase three of Yai's best teams that you can play her in. As always, I'll include character substitutes and rotations so you guys can figure out the best way to play that team for you. Also, my Yaimiko is C6, so I'll be using a level 1 weapon for all of the background gameplay you see, because otherwise, it would look like this. If you enjoy these types of videos, let me know by leaving a like on the video. And without further ado, my name is Braxophone, and let's talk about Yai's best teams. The first team comp we're going to be talking about is a Hyper Bloom team with Yai, Kokomi, Yalan, and Nahida. First things first, I cover Yai builds in my updated build guide, but in Hyper Bloom specifically, running an Elemental Mastery Sands can be better than Attack Sands for her, just because her turrets gain partial EM scaling, so as long as you're triggering Hyper Blooms consistently and hitting enemies, EM Sands can win out. Hyper Bloom has been one of my favorite types of teams to play since Dendro released, because it lets you play electric characters of any power level and get tons of value out of them. In the Yai Hyper Bloom team, or what I like to call Yiper Bloom, you're able to deal solid Electro, Hydro, and Hyper Bloom damage. Every character in this team has an incredibly important role. Nahida is able to apply Dendro with her elemental skill and normal attacks. Yulan is applying Hydro, dealing high single target damage, and providing damage bonus to your on-field character. Kokomi is healing your team from all the damage you'll take, as well as applying more Hydro. And Yaimiko is sitting pretty while her Fox turrets do everything for her, as usual. Rotation isn't the most important thing in this team, but it's pretty helpful to follow if you want to have the highest possible hyper blooms in a time. So for this team specifically, a rotation option could be Nahida Elemental Skill and Burst, Kokomi Elemental Skill into Yaimiko Elemental Skill three times, and if you have her burst available, you can use her burst and then follow it up with three more turrets, then into Yalan's Elemental Skill and Burst, Kokomi Normal Attack into Burst to refresh the Jellyfish, and then use Nahida's Normal Attacks to reapply Dendro as often as possible. There's a lot of Hydro in this team already, it's important to use Nahida on field for normal attacks to keep spawning blooms. You may miss out on her elemental mastery buff on Yamiko, but there's alternative ways to run this team if you want to have Yai on the field. Realistically, you can throw tons of different units into this team and it'll be pretty functional. For example, if you don't have Kokomi, you could use Ayato for off-field hydro application, or you could even replace Yalan with Ayato for on-field hydro application. If you don't have Nahida, you can run Dendro MC here, though you'll have a lot less blooms. One thing to note is that if you use C6 Singcha here instead of Yulan, I actually recommend using Fischl or Kuki instead of Kokomi, which will make Nahida apply Dendro more frequently when her burst is up. The reason is that C6 Singcha is applying an insane amount of Hydro, and you can actually justifiably run two Electro instead in order to have Electro charged on the enemy. This leads to having a mix of Aggravates and Hyper Bloom damage, which can be an absolutely busted team. I highly recommend giving it a try if you haven't already. So the next team I want to talk about is a Yai Aggravate team. This team will feature Yai, Fischl, Nahida, and a Flex. And just on screen right now, we'll be coaching in the Flex spot. I know I said top three teams for Yai, but this team is more like two different teams. So I'll go over both of them here. Yai and Fischl are an insanely good combo with Nahida. Yai applies a decent amount of Electro due to her turrets having random targeting. So when you combine that with Nahida's elemental skill that applies Dendro to anyone affected by her mark upon reaction, this means that Yai can free frequently trigger, quicken, and aggravate on enemies all over the room. When you play those two with Fischl, Fischl's Ascension 4 passive can trigger more aggravate damage and basically just carry a team. On top of that, Fischl will generate energy for Yai, and Yai's burst thunderbolts don't follow standard ICD, so you can aggravate all of them for massive damage. Now when I said it's two different teams, I mean that the flex spot determines the difference in how you play it. Yai and Fischl with Nihita are strong enough to carry a Spiral Abyss chamber by themselves, but you also have have the option to try to buff them, run a healer, or run a damage dealer. For the first team option, you can opt to use Kuching or Tegnari in the flex spot as damage dealers. You already have solid damage dealers on the team, but Yai and Fischl are pretty low maintenance. Because you don't technically have a dedicated on-field character, Kuching and Tegnari can fit that bill, and even Sino can work. For rotation using Kuching as an example, what I found to work is Nahida Elemental Skill into Burst, followed by Fischl's Elemental Skill. After that, you're going to use Yai Elemental Skill 3 
three times. And if you have her burst, you can use it. And then three more elemental skills into Kuching's elemental skill and burst. And then you're going to finish her elemental skill teleport to get the electro infusion, then start spamming charged attacks. Right before Fischl's Oz is about to go down, you can switch back to Fischl and use her burst. And you're essentially going to rotate what's in the parentheses, Fischl burst, Nahida elemental skill and burst, Yai skills, Kuching, EQE, etc. You're just going to swap out Fischl's skill and burst over and over so that way you can constantly have Oz up. Now for the second team option, you can opt for another support. So you can basically turn this into an AFK team with Zhongli or Albedo. I don't mean literally AFK, but it certainly will feel like you're not doing a lot of work. I recommend using Nahida on field for this one, but honestly, who cares? You can use the pink lady on field too. For rotation with this setup, you'd be looking at something like this. Zhongli elemental skill, Nahida elemental skill into burst, Fischl's elemental skill to summon Oz, Yai three elemental skills and use her burst if you have it. If not, then you just move on to AFK. And by AFK, I mean attack with Nahida or Yai on field. If you have Miko on field, she'll get an elemental mastery buff from Nahida. So there's that option too. It can make her turrets do a lot more damage. Who you have on field is just going to depend on your investment. As far as other substitutes go, if you don't have Fischl, you can always opt for Kutsing instead of Fischl and a support in the fourth slot. Or you can also run right in here. But I highly recommend trying Yai and Fischl together if you have the option. They're super fun and easy to plug and play. The third team I want to talk about today is a classic. This is going to be Taser with Sucrose, Yai, Fischl, and Singchaw. The Taser team revolves around dealing tons of hydro and electro damage to enemies in an area and reducing damage taken on the home front. In this team, you're going to want to use Yai instead of Beto. While you might see the benefit in running Yai and Beto together, Yai doesn't generate energy on the same level as Fischl, which would mean you to run more energy recharge on Beto and lower her damage overall. However, using Yai and Fischl together allows you to reliably use Yai's burst without hyper investing into energy recharge since Fischl is going to be battering her. Sucrose also makes his team super easy to play, utilizing Swirl to reapply Hydro and Electro to other enemies and proccing Electro Charge. If you want to maximize damage with it, here's some rotations you can try. The first one's a little bit more advanced because you're going to be weaving in Singchul Rain Swords between everything you do. You're going to start off with Singchul's Elemental Skill, Burst, and Skill again if you're using Sacrificial Sword. Then you're going to go into Fischl and one skill, which is going to just be Normal Attack once and Skill, Sucrose and two Skill, Yai and one skill and one skill and one skill and one. So you're going to attempt to get four rain swords in on Yai's on field time. Then you're going to go into Fischl, Elemental Burst, then into Sucrose and two skill, then into Yai and one and use her burst. Then you're going to follow that up with skill and one, skill and one, skill and one. Again, this is just to get as many rain swords as you can between each one. Then you're going to just spam Sucrose normal attacks until Singchul is ready and then you repeat. Honestly, if you need to have this one up on the screen and pause the video, I don't blame you. This one's kind of hard to get down and memorize. However, when you get it, it's really rewarding. If you're not down for all of that complicated weaving, you don't have to use that rotation. You can use a rotation that has lower overall damage, but it's a lot easier. For example, try this one. Official elemental skill into sucrose and two skill, then Yai skill three times, burst skill three times, then into Singchul skill, burst and skill again if you're using sacrificial sword, then into Fischl's burst to re-up Oz, Sucrose normal attack, spam, and repeat. It's not ideal because it makes Singchul start later, but if you take the time to use all of Yai's kit, you'll lose out on a lot of sword time if you're not weaving in swords. Honestly, the team's pretty forgiving, so even if you don't use the right rotation, it sort of is just random BS go, and it ends up being super strong. As for subs, you can go ahead and use Hazel for Sucrose if you want, or Yalan for Singchul. These have been three amazing teams for Yai Miko. If you've enjoyed, make sure to let me know by liking the video, and consider subscribing to the channel so you can be notified when I put out more Genshin videos. Also, come check out my Twitch where we do lots of recording and testing for videos like this. It's going to be twitch.tv slash I'd love to see you there. Thanks everyone, and I'll catch you next time.